mornings with Al Farabee on CFAX 1070. I love these stories, especially when it's uh, locals that work so hard and uh, maybe you don't know anything about uh, what they do, but uh, behind the scenes, uh, they're uh, working towards a goal of uh, winning something. And uh, this happened up and over the weekend uh, with uh, the, uh, the Kessa Van Osh Rink. Curlers, they are. And uh, they knocked off a, a curling titan to win the BC Scottish title. And on the line with us is a team member, Stephanie Bear, who is, you are the third in, in your uh, foursome. Is that correct? Yes, I am. Thanks for having you. Absolutely. Well, first of all, Stephanie, tell me, how does this feel? And uh, let's update everybody as to what exactly happened at the BC Scotties in, in Prince George, because you guys were in the final and you knocked off uh, somebody fairly significant. Tell me about it. Well, we are super excited. Um, we went up there with the intention of um, playing our best and, and seeing what we could do to find a playoff spot and, and see what happens in the final weekend. And so you got to the final and you took on, uh, tell everybody who you had to play. Uh, we played Kelly Scott. <laughs> Who, yeah. For those that don't know uh, curling, uh, uh, Kelly's like a, a rather uh, huge name in curling right across this land. She is, yeah. She's one of the best teams in, in this country and definitely uh, one of the top teams in this province for probably the last 10 years. So take me through uh, that final game and especially towards the end, what happened? Well, um, we knew that it would be a really close, tough game for us. Um, we're a very young team. We don't have a whole lot of experience in a situation like that. Two of the girls, it was their first time out of BC Scotties. Um, so we knew we had to keep it really close and score and um, do our best to have a shot to win the game kind of on the last rock. Um, and, and that's what we did. We um, we gave up a hard two in the in the first end and then played it pretty clean and wide open, defensive play throughout the game. Um, and we managed the scoreboard really well. They were scoring in odd ends and we got a big uh, two points in the eighth end. Kelly Scott uh, blanked the, the ninth end, so zero score in the ninth end. And um, we were able to steal the win in the 10th with a great throw to the button from our Kessa Van Osh. Boy, uh, could you believe your eyes when you, when you saw that happen? You know what? I was in shock for quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But it's great. I mean, it, it, it shows that, uh, it, it shows a couple things. It shows, obviously, uh, that, well, first of all, before anything else, mention all your team members' names so we know exactly who you, who you are. Yeah, we've got Kessa Van Osh uh, from Nanaimo, uh, myself from Victoria. Uh, Jesse Sanderson from Coquitlam, and Carly Sandwich from Victoria, and our coach, Cindy Tucker from Victoria. And you all curl out of the Victoria Curling Club, correct? We do, yeah, Victoria Curling Center. Okay, how do you all get together? I mean, you're all from, like, uh, faraway places. How do you do that? Well, um, we're together every weekend. We either go to the mainland to compete in tournaments, or we come here and do training weekends. Um, and we play on Tuesday night in the Victoria Select League. Um, so we do a lot of traveling. <laughs> That's cool. So, and speaking of traveling, uh, off to Montreal you will be from uh, February 1st to the 9th to, are you ready for this? The Scotties Tournament of Hearts. How does that sound? That sounds amazing. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> when you went into this tournament, did, did you have that thought? I mean, I mean, what was your mindset going in? Was it just to sort of get some experience? Uh, at the BCs, or did you really kind of have a mindset that, you know what, we're playing pretty well, we can take this? Well, heading up there, um, you know, it's always in the back of your mind what your ultimate goal is, but because we're such a young team, um, we went up there, our main goal was just to learn, you know, our first trip for a couple of the girls, and we wanted to do whatever we could to, to have a great learning experience um, so that we can have a successful trip, you know, moving forward throughout the years curling is a game that you can play from when you're 8 years old till you're 80 years old, so there's no rush on, you know, getting to a, a national event right away. Um, but by the time we got up there and we started to learn the ice, we realized that we had a, a great shot at doing something special, so we really, you know, focused and, and kept living in the moment and, you know, next rock, next rock, and at the end of the week it paid off. And you mentioned a young team. How old are you all? Uh, I'm 27, um, Kessa is 22, Jesse is 22, and Carly is 21. Man, oh man. Well, listen, we just wanted to take the time to say congratulations. That's a huge win, and obviously uh, very emotional, the fact that you, you pulled it off. And uh, like I say, there's 
I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of luck that goes into it, but there's a lot of hard work, and uh, for those that uh, follow curling, it's a, it's a huge accomplishment, so we wanted to, to make sure that uh, that uh, you knew there's lots of fans, and we're going to be watching you guys at the Scotty Tournament of Hearts in uh, Montreal come February, okay? Thank you very much. Hey, you're welcome. And congratulations, Stephanie. Thank you. 727 here at C.